Hey guys, I'm doing another Minecraft mod review. I'm Daniel from D&D &D Productions. I'm currently using Minecraft 1.6.2. And I'm going over the Twilight Forest mod, which is actually an old mod, but I'm doing it again for 1.6.2. Now, there has been tons of things added to this mod from the last version, 1.5.2. Which is um, new mods, new crafting recipes, which I couldn't get to in this video, I'm sorry. But I will be showing you all the mods and how to get there. In this mod, there is a few things. Um, some of them. Oh, let's just create a new world here. I'm going to make it flat world. The way to get there, all you need is any kind of flower. I wouldn't recommend mushrooms just because I don't know which kinds of mushrooms. Flat and super flat. Um, you need water and a 4x4 four four area cut into the dirt. That's all you need. And one diamond. And really, this mod is very simple to get to, because it's not like you need obsidian, you need ten diamonds, you need a diamond pickaxe. All you need is flowers, water, and diamond. And a way to dig dirt, which you can do that at the beginning of the game. Now let's uh, get to it now. Let's see, flatland, yes, yes. I'm going to get a diamond. You only need one, and you need to throw it in the water when you fall completely. So I'll show you that in a second. Now let's get a rose. Flower, get a flower. You can use any of these. I don't know how the mushroom works, but so far I have not been successful in providing the mushrooms, so I'm having trouble with that. I'm gonna try it again. And you'll need a water bucket. At least, at least one. I should look at the end. Yeah, this is how it should look at the end. You can put any kind of flower, rose, but I don't know. Nah, you, you can't put the mushroom in there. Now just put the water down and throw the diamond in. And lightning will strike. If you're on survival, it may take away like two hearts with no armor. So download the terrain. This will take a while just because it's the first time going there in this world. It's a pretty big world. There's bosses, there's a hydra, there's um, Naga, which I thought was really cool. Harry Potter sort of thing. Yeah. Yep. It is taking a really, really, really long time. Okay, um, some pointers you need to know. Uh, right. Some of the mod mobs in this Some of the mods, mobs in this mod are a bit laggy, like the Hydra, Naga, and whatever that gas thing was. So I
big horn sheep. Sheep, wild deer, red cap, and all these good guys. I will be showing you. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I will be showing you Naga with this, so it will lag out. And I actually haven't got the wraith to work yet. This is. A work in progress mod still, so I'm just gonna try one more time. Okay, here's the big horn sheep. He spawns in many different colors. That's brown, that's brown, that's orange, that's blue, white. So I have seen many different, like dark blue, red, and all those. There's a deer, I'm pretty sure you know what these are. So let's spawn a red sheep. Look at this guy, he's all tiny and evil looking. He's got an iron pickaxe and pickaxe and some iron boots. Let's see if he attacks us in survival, so let's just change our game up real quick. And it appears he does attack, and he does a lot of damage. He does two hearts of damage, so let's go back into creative right now. And he's still attacking us, so let's just, like, finish him off. Oh, I got one.
up, and that's the Hydra. He's uh, pretty mean. Let's go to the Twilight Lich. This guy is pretty mean. He's got like shields orbiting him. He's a skeleton-like thing. There they are. I just want my name, which was a mistake. He will teleport, and he's got a mean attack. He, he actually sounds like an Enderman when he teleports. The thing. I, I, that was so true. I don't know why I just did that. There's a penguin. Tiny birds. Ooh, ooh, birds. There's nothing cool about the birds. The penguins. Just epicness. Penguins. Penguin. And they can turn invisible. The uh, liches can turn invisible, so let's go way up here to spawn all the ghasts and stuff. Down there, do it. Devastation. Uh, yeah, I mean, this squirrel actually makes a weird spider sound when he dies, and the bunny doesn't really make a sound, so. The raven, let's look at the raven. He's just a common raven. He doesn't really fly when you walk toward him. What is this? Uh, is this guy's like a little elephant. Let's kill him right now. This is really weird blue. I don't think he attacks you on survival. It's wild boar. He's a typical boar. They do not spawn in multiple colors. So, yeah. Now let's look at some of my favorite. These, I believe, are the coolest ever. Like the king spider. He's always a spider jockey. So, he's always going to be looking like a spider jockey. He's just awesomeness. He has a massive attack damage with diamond armor. He does three hearts with diamond armor, so you really don't want to be hit by him. So, let's go ahead and spawn him in. He's huge. He has um, a druid skeleton riding on him. I believe he does poison you. So, yep, that's... That, that's the fireflies. fireflies just like little balls of light that float around. Nice detail, though. This guy is so cute. He's just like this miniature little little ghast with red things around him. Now this guy is the Carmenite Ghast Guard. The baby one was Carmenite Ghast. He will attack you on sight. So he's just like a regular ghast. He's a Carmenite Golem. He's somewhat like an Iron Golem, but he has higher attack damage and he will attack you. You can spawn him in, I believe, like a regular Iron Golem. But it takes carmonite. Power wood. I, I believe these things are like. Like these. What are those called? The like catfish things. Uh, they do the same thing. That's a weird looking spider. This is. Yeah. This is. Urgast. Urgast is one of the boss. Boss. Bosses. He's a huge ghast with like these weird tentacle things like the mother of all ghasts. A block chain golem. He throws that at you. And he can melee you with that too. So, be aware that the all these mobs, again, cause significant lag, especially the Hydra, Naga, and the Urgast. Urgast, not so much. But let's move to the last three. There's Lower Night Golem, Crab, and Night Tower Golem. So, um, Helmet Crab, Lower Goblin Knight. Let's start with the Lower Goblin Knight. He has some pretty nice armor. He's got a shield, and if you hit it on the shield, all it will do is throw him back. You have to hit him behind the shield. And this, this crab is, like, really weird. Phantom. Okay, this guy, I don't believe he's fully textured yet, because he does not attack on survival. All he does is fly around and have no texture. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for this mob. Well, other than the crafting recipes. Just remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you like the video. See you next time, DD Productions.